should be wearing a belt. Where is my belt? Oh, I know where my belt is. We take the Snow White branding very seriously on this channel. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So, today I am going to be talking about the weather and appropriate dress whilst wearing short sleeves because ain't that my life. <laughs> so, obviously, it is very cold. It is, of course, January. Um, but I have also recently moved to a part of the country that is freezing and so windy all the time. So the last week has been a bit of a crash course in how to dress cute and vintage and all of those things, but whilst not freezing to death. <laughs> so I thought I would share some of my tips and tricks with all of you so that you too can be safe and warm and cosy but still look beautiful in the weather. So when it comes to keeping yourself warm, there are generally four main components. There is the body, your hands, your head, and your feet. So I would always recommend using vintage accessories to your advantage. So for example, beautiful gloves that are also very warm. These are not very warm. I do have warm vintage gloves somewhere in this room. Um, but you know, woolen or fleecy or fluffy um, gloves, even just the Thinsulate ones. When it comes to gloves, honestly, sometimes you do have to sacrifice beauty to function because once your hands get cold, it is a little bit of a losing game. But <laughs> that's okay. And the same for your feet. Seamed stockings or thick tights that are beautifully patterned or coordinate to your outfit is an amazing way of keeping warm but not looking like you're bundled up. Um, petticoats can be a great way of keeping the warmth to your legs and they also stop your skirts from flying everywhere because it adds a bit of bulk and weight to everything. Um, if you are going to go out in a skirt without a petticoat, which you know sometimes we have to do because of work and the real world, um, whatever that is, I don't live there, I can't tell you, I would always recommend wearing a lining um, just like this underneath so that if your skirt does fly up you do still have that extra layer to keep yourself nice and covered and avoid flashing your stockings because while that is a marvellous pin-up moment it's not always what you want out of your life. <laughs> when it comes to your hair, we if we have a vintage set in, hair nets will be your best friend. I have worn a hair net every day since I got here and I do not regret my decision at all. Um, hairspray, hairspray your hair after you've put it in your hairnet and I find it helps it stay so much better and cute little scarves and rolls and things are totally fine as long as they're well pinned down and hairsprayed as well. Or you can wear fabulous things like hats. We love a good hat. Hats are amazing and they keep you nice and warm and they just generally look beautiful. I love a good hat but if you're not into hats like this we have flatter hats for example we could go with a closer cut hat like this one I got told I look like Mary Poppins in this hat which means I love it so very much and I think it's just beautiful Whew. or we can go with a fabulous fur headband 
faux, of course. This is my Russian heiress look. I do have a white one, but I don't have it with me because all of the coats I've bought have black fur trimmings or black um, detailing, so I thought this would fit better. But yes, keeping particularly your ears, the top of your head and the back of your neck warm will do wonders for keeping you overall nice and cosy. And obviously coats are a massive, massive part of keeping warm. Now I'm not going to lie, because of the nature of my job and that I'm outside a lot, I do end up wearing my full on ski coat most of the time when I'm on duty. But when I go out in the evenings and when I'm not at work, I tend to wear my beautiful green collective coat, which you can see in one of my first very vintage lookbooks. I will link it in a card. Um, I still wear it all the time and it's really beautiful and cosy. The only thing is you need a scarf or a high neck underneath because it does dip down. Um, or my gorgeous pink jacket. I'm trying to think if I've put it on Instagram or not. I'm not entirely sure I have. So I'll just show you quickly. It looks like this and then it buttons up at the front and it's beautiful and it keeps you nice and cosy and warm. So I love that one. Um, layers are a really great way to stay warm. So wearing, say, a long line bra and then a blouse and then a cardigan or even if you want to go further and have a slip or a camisole underneath where pun me wearing thermals underneath um, outfits where you can't see the thermal and um, just making sure that you honestly being warm is such a massive indicator of how happy I am throughout the day if I'm just going around going mm, it really doesn't do anything good for my mood, so making sure that I stay nice and warm and cosy. Trousers are good. I swear by the band apparel trousers. I'm sure I have lots of photos on my Instagram of them. But I also have a pair from Miss Candy Floss coming, so I will get lots of pictures in those when they arrive. And I know Emmy Design Sweden trousers are supposed to be really great. Um, I just always go for trousers, obviously, that have a vintage silhouette and that are wide legged and very comfortable. I find vintage clothes the most comfortable for me. So honestly, whatever keeps you comfy and happy and warm, that's what you should wear. <laughs> um, so that is all of my tips for keeping warm in the months. I will probably be dotting photos around throughout the video to illustrate my point. Um, Obviously your safety comes first, so if you need things like shoes, by the way, make sure that your feet are warm. So if you need to wear heavier boots, snow boots, if it's really that bad, I just tend to wear stockings or socks and then either my bowling flats or just my little Dykeman heels that you see me wear all the time. Um, I didn't really bring that many shoes with me, so I just work with what I have, but my feet you know, if the rest of me is warm, my feet don't tend to get that cold. But safety first, hands, feet, this part of your body where all of the organs are and your head, try and focus on keeping those warm and then my legs don't really tend to get cold. So that's just my personal preference. But go with whatever is right for you. So I hope that you liked this um, rather short, rather rambly <laughs> video. Um, here's a better look at my hair colour, by the way. I've washed it a couple times now and boy did I forget how washing freshly dyed red hair makes you look like a serial killer in the shower but it's all okay um, and don't forget that you can follow me on all of my social media you can follow me on Instagram at a very vintage darling you can follow me on Twitter at V vintage darling and you can follow my do I have anything else not at the moment you can follow my YouTube channel you can subscribe to join our little Vintage Darlings Famalam 
I love you all so very much and I hope you are staying warm, happy and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Au revoir!